I have a very picky family, so it's hard to impress them with anything other than a steak from our harvest, which they totally love, but sometimes I want something a little different. However, I found this amazing recipe for venison stew at Miss Allie's Kitchen that I ended up using with the pronghorn that we harvested from New Mexico last August. I can't believe how easy this stew is and how much flavor it has. Not only is it easy to make, but my family begs me to make this every week. The easiest way to make this is to prep all your ingredients first, so all you have to do is add it to the pan. You are going to take a large pan, and with a medium to high heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil to the pan. Now I love using basil infused olive oil, but any flavor will do. When the oil is hot, Add one pound of cubed meat of your choice and saute it for about six to seven minutes while browning all sides of the meat. I am using pronghorn in this video, but I have also tried elk and venison. And even though they have their own flavor, all the meat comes out super tender. Now once that is done, remove the meat and set it aside. Turn down the heat to medium and add one large diced onion, three large cubed carrots, three sticks of diced celery, three medium potatoes cubed and let them cook for eight to ten minutes or until they begin to get soft. Now you will add two minced garlic cloves, two tablespoons of herbs de Provence, I hope I said that right, <laughs> one teaspoon of salt, three quarter teaspoons of pepper. I'm going to cook it for about a minute. Once you do that, you're going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste stirring it for another minute. Last, you will add four cups of bone broth. Now I'm using the bone broth I made from the pronghorn bones, which I put a link down in the description for that recipe. You're also going to add one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Give it a little stir, then add the meat back to the pot. Stir it well, bring it to a boil, Turn the heat down low, cover it with a lid, and then let it simmer for two hours. And that's pretty much it. After the two hours are done, the meat is tender, the flavor is amazing, you can serve it just the way it is, or you can add your favorite thickener like a cornstarch. This is such an easy recipe and a major crowd pleaser. Let me know if you like it, or if you have any other suggestions. I've put the link to this recipe in the description below. I hope you enjoy. If you enjoyed this clip, leave a comment about your favorite part. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to get updates on our adventures. Thanks for watching.